This is how to get the homebrew channel on your Wii without Twilight Hack and using Wii System 4.1U. First, you need to go to HTTP Banner Bomb dot QOID dot US. Then you get your SD card, and then you plug it into your SD card reader. Put it in your computer, or you just plug it in your com and whatever you use to plug in SD cards to your computer. You go down and click Open Folder to view files, or go to My Computer, then click on it. If this doesn't pop up, that's my SD cards window. I'm going to minimize that for now. And then, you click on this blue link. to download it, but for my Wii that doesn't work, so if if it, this, what I'm saying doesn't work, use one of these. I'm going to download this one, the AAD20, because that one I know works for me. So you download whichever one wor works for you, but you have to do a third trial and error to find out which one. Then you click on the the Hack Me Installer. Open that up in your window or tab. Then click go to the download section. Then click download, and you should be downloading it. Now that that's done downloading, you go to where you downloaded the files. Then you unzip them. And do that to both of the folders. And then, once that is done, open up the the one that you downloaded from the website, Bootly, the one that, and then you copy the private folder to the root of your SD card. If you already have a private folder on your SD card, rename it to private old. Then, you go back to all your stuff and open up the Hack Me Installer Beta 2 folder. Then you go to this installer.l file. You rename it. Boot dot elf. 
then you copy that to the root of your SD card. And then take out your SD card. And then you put it, and then you turn on your Wii. Okay, so now you turn on your Wii. Then you go down to the Wii options. So this is menu version 4.1. You go to data management. channels then you click on SD card then you insert your SD card to the Wii And then you click yes. Wait for it to load. And then you wait for please press one to appear. And then you press one. And then you click A. Then go up to install the homebrew channel. Click yes. And then you click continue. Then you install DVDX. Wait for it to install and click A. Go down to exit. And now we've got a homebrew channel installed on your Wii. And now you can get Wii Homebrew on your Wii 4.0 Wii.